first, we need to establish a reality. Life is not fair. It's just simply not fair. Even in the most fair situations, for example, a college classroom, I think that's a pretty good example of being very, very close to fair. You have 30 students, and they are not there by coincidence. They had to either take a test to be placed in that classroom, or pass a course in order to be placed in that classroom. So in some sense, it should be fair for all 30 students. But it's not, because they all have different backgrounds. They all come from different situations. They all have different lives. Maybe some of them had parents who were college professors. Maybe some of them are just genetically gifted and their IQ is just a little bit higher than some of the other students. And so they have an easier time learning certain concepts if they try. So it's not fair. So the reality is life isn't fair and we cannot change that. No matter how hard we try, there is always going to be situations where one person has an advantage over another. Money is a good example. People always talk about people who are born rich. They are born and their parents are rich and so everything is given to them. Life is simply not fair. But I'm here to tell you that you can use that to your advantage. You can use that to find strength and to grow. Because if life was fair, if everyone was equal, then why would you be inclined to work harder? What would be your driving factor if no matter how hard you worked, the results were the same? And you might say, well, I'd have good results. Ah, it takes time to realize this. It takes a lot of time to realize this, but it is not about the destination. Life is not about just reaching some goal. I mean, it's good to have a goal and you want to reach it, some epic ultimate goal, a goal that is incredible, but it's also about the journey to reach that goal. It's about the steps you take to accomplish your goal. It's about the path that you carve for yourself in this world, the struggles, and the hurdles you climb, those small little victories, you know, you get that A on that test. You know, you hit your one rep max on the bench press. You ask out the pretty girl and she says yes. Whatever it is that makes you happy, those little successes are triumphs and they make you feel good. People feel good when they work hard and they succeed. So if life was fair, that feeling is, is gone. It's, it's, it's demotivating. The unfairness of life teaches you to be resourceful. It teaches you to rise above. You know, if, if life was fair, there wouldn't be so many people in the world today who have done incredible things and have changed the world. The world today would not be the world today. Right? Think about the technological advancements of even just the last 40 years. The internet. I remember a world with no internet, my friends. I lived in it for a little while, not long, not long, but just for a little while. I remember a world with no cell phones. I'm using my cell phone to record this video. I didn't have a cell phone in the past. They did, they did not exist. 
They exist because people had to rise above. They had to think out of the box. Someone, somewhere, or some group of people created the cell phone. Innovation, change, great things in the world aren't a result of a world where everything is fair. So, yes, it does suck that life is not fair. It is unfortunate that perhaps you weren't born rich and your parents aren't multimillionaires. It is unfortunate, perhaps, that you weren't born with incredibly good looks. It is unfortunate, perhaps, that you weren't born a genius like the mathematician Ramanujan. But it is those unfair advantages and those disadvantages that mold the world we live in today. The unfairness of life teaches us to rise above adversity. It teaches us that we can do anything because we see results. Because if it was fair, we, we would, it would be the same. It would be the same result for everyone. And that's just not, not a good way to live because it's about the journey. It's about the struggles. You know, people, people feel good when, when they read a hard math book. This is not a hard math book. This one's pretty easy, but they feel good. Sorry, I have to smell it. When they read a hard math book and they solve a problem, you know that feeling you get when, when you figure out that problem because you worked hard? Imagine if everyone had to work equally hard and everyone had those same results. It just, it just you don't get that satisfaction. Human beings are meant to work. Human beings are not meant to just lounge around and lay on the beach. I mean, relaxation and self-care is part of life. We have to unwind, we have to find a balance. But we're meant to work and thrive and succeed. It is part of being human. So the next time you find yourself saying, oh, life is not fair, I wish this, I wish that, well, first realize that wishing does nothing. I mean, perhaps it can give you some goals, which is good. But life is unfair. And the only thing you can do to rise above is take action. Take action and that will be it. Right? Action is the one thing you can do to rise above in an unfair world. In fact, it's so important. Action is so important that I wrote an entire book on how to take action. I have it right here. It's called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. And I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. Action, action, action. Life is not fair. People always use that as a complaint. I, I do it myself. We all do. We all say, oh, this is terrible. But, but it can be a positive. Because if it was fair, the world we live in would be different. So keep that in mind. This is not something that people typically think about, you know, because you say life is not fair and, and you think about all the unfairness in the world, all the, all the horrible things in the world that are just tragic. Yes, it is bad. It is bad. But it can be a good thing, right? It can be a good thing because the world today would not be the world today if everything was equal and everything was fair. Kind of a random video and just a different way of thinking, a different perspective. And yes, I will still go on and say, oh, life isn't fair, this sucks. But deep down I know that if everything was equal, we wouldn't have the world we live in today. So yes, it is unfortunate that life is not fair, but it can be a good thing. I hope this video has been helpful. And I should mention, I have math courses. They're on Udemy. Use my links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or from the description of this video. I also have books, I have a bunch of math books. They're all books that have full solutions. Pre-calculus for legends, they're all on Amazon. You just type in my name, The Math Sorcerer on Amazon. And click my name, you'll find all my books. Or check the description, Mathematics Unlimited. I've got some algebra books, I've got some calculus books as well. But my math books are math books. My best book is this one. This is one that goes more in line with this video. This, this book will help you change your life. It is called Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life. 
and it will give you actionable things that you can use in your life today. It's not a book with like some wild ideas and no, no, it's, it's very down to earth. You can read this book in a day and change your life starting today, guaranteed, okay? It's actionable, it's not, I wanna use the word, hocus pocus. <laughs> it's not a word I can use anywhere else except now. I mean, I guess I can use it, but yeah. I hope it's been helpful and yes, yes, it, it sucks that life is not fair, right? It does, but if it was fair, Think about what that means, right? If, if everything was the same, think about what that means. Just a nice little thought experiment. Take care, my friends. And my friends from my other channel, Sigal Jandal.